On Studio Chat today, I have my beautiful guest, Annie Koshi. Welcome, Hi, Annie. Thank you. Now, I want to talk about this event that you just recently did at the Lava Lounge. Was a Bali Pop? That's right. We just had that on Friday. We had a fantastic group of people, four, four artists that came in mm -hmm. and sang live entertainment, uh, DJ dance party, and lots of fun. About 125 people or so showed up. Wow. And now you just mentioned that you're doing another one event that's a jazz type of night? Yes. We we actually have another one lined up for August the 23rd, same location, Thompson, Toronto, and this time it's going to be a jazz artist. We introduced her at uh, Bali Pop, but she's going to have her own uh, show as well as a full-on band, and wow. it's going to be do. It's called uh, Lava Lounge rock on okay and when is that going to be august the 23rd that's amazing so i guess some people want to get tickets to go to that yep what the information do? will be on eventbrite we will have that information up and running this week and mm -hmm. it'll also be on facebook you can find um, lava lounge gta on facebook and details will mm -hmm. be there as well as pictures from friday's event which is great that's amazing and i understand we were talking a little before and, and you've got a beautiful voice thank you and you're a singer well, I taught choir for a long time. I did start uh, with singing a long, long time ago. Um, I don't really perform um, on stage at the moment. I'm more mm -hmm. in promoting other artists, okay. but I did sing this last Friday and hopefully we'll have a few cameo appearances in the next couple of events. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So singer and then uh, you're also a radio host. I'm working right now with Saga News Talk 960 AM mm -hmm. in Etobicoke. We uh, are Peel uh, Region news state, uh, radio station, mm -hmm. and I'm an RJ on Terry's Drive-In. It runs uh, three to five Saturdays and Sundays with my host, Terry Rakra. Uh, the station is uh, run by Jyoti Panu, mm -hmm. and uh, she's the CEO of the station, Young Lady, mm -hmm. and fantastic lineup of hosts uh, that start at 6 a.m. in the morning. Tune in to Saga 960 a.m. because they've got great hosts, great conversations. Oh, that's amazing. Now let's talk a little bit about acting because that's something else that you do you're a lady uh, of all trades you do everything <laughs> sing do you dance too i have danced ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing but let's talk about the acting yeah. so i represent you yes. carolyn's talent so yeah. tell me a little bit about why you wanted to get involved in acting you know, it's one thing as a, a, a person that was photographed often at different things, and I'm very photogenic, I know, I've been told that. Mm -hmm. um, it was an opportunity for me to put something that I was born with to good use. And I wanted to be associated with a company that I felt um, was professional, at the same time very family and personable. Uh, each of the staff here at Carolyn's has been very approachable. and. It, the ease of being able to uh, receive the information and then act upon it when mm -hmm. you send us for our auditions or when you send us information, that was all very important. Why acting? Mm -hmm. Well, I think we all act the minute you step out, you're on, right? And True. so I think that to be able to take those skills and do it in front of a camera, um, for me, that was something mm -hmm. that just came natural and I really enjoy doing mm -hmm. it. So, yeah. I like the, the fact that you mentioned you're on as soon as you basically leave the house. Yes. So when you go for an audition, I think probably when you go right from the time that you get there, even walking down the street to the audition, you should already be in character or whatever you're auditioning for, correct? I think that's a very important point. I believe that every time you're stepping out of the house, mm -hmm. you're a brand. Mm -hmm. And if you're a model or an actor or an actress, then you're representing first off the agency that's representing you, but also yourself as a brand. So it's very important, Carolyn, I feel that you're always putting your best face forward, mm -hmm. your best foot forward. So true. <laughs> and you're always letting others know that when they meet you, that impression that you're making of yourself that really is your best impression. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very important to put your best face forward. And what do you think about people that are just starting off in the business, think that they can sign up and be uh, for a month and, you know, I should be getting all this work. Is it that easy? It is, and it's taken a lot of time to get to the point where I'm at and where I'm a recognized face now. Um, I'm very lucky and blessed that through Carolyn's, mm -hmm. my ads are actually running all over North America. But it takes a lot of work, and it's not just always 
um, what work is going to be paid work, sometimes some of the work that you have to do is just so that you can start building up your brand. Mm -hmm. That's true. And it's very important that when you are trying to do things like a self-tape or you're trying to submit things for audition, you're using the right tricks that you're needing. So one of the things that I have that I carry with me always or I have at home is a simple, simple tripod. Something like this, which is very, very easy to find on Amazon. You can uh, um, order it and it'll come to you. Very easy to handle. Comes with its own little remote that you can automatically uh, set your phone to start shooting. But having one of these makes a huge difference, Carolyn, mm -hmm. when you're trying to do a self-tape. Absolutely, and we find as an agent, when we send out a self-tape, number one, it's important to get it in early. Don't wait to the deadline. Casting directors have a lot to look through and they yeah. wanna look through a lot of them as quickly as they can and know who they wanna you know, either bring in or book or whatever. Now this uh, thing, very interesting, because I notice sometimes we get a self-tape where people send um, us a self-tape and there's all kinds of furniture and pictures in the background. I think it's so important. We have to use a clear, a plain background, nothing in the background no children crying or anything like that, no dogs barking, so in a quiet room. And instead of taking your phone like this or putting it on a table or propping it up, that is a great idea. Now, how much roughly is that, the tripod? This was about uh, $30 on Amazon, and then, um, yeah, it was shipped to me. It was very, very convenient. I've used it whether I'm in um, the station and mm -hmm. I need to record our guests, mm -hmm. or I'm at home and I need to do a self-recording. This has been fantastic. It's okay. a great piece of equipment that if you're using a phone to do your self-tape, along with an app that you can put onto your phone to do your self-tapes, you should probably invest in one of these. So some of the apps, I think that's another good um, thing. So a lot of people say when they do a self-tape, the file's too big, I can't email it. So Actors Access has an app we can download. Um, 800 Casting has Audition Express. And also we use like my self-tape app, which I right. think those are somewhat uh, some good platforms I think people can start off with. Right. Um, Tell me a little bit about, now you learned about the tripod, mm -hmm. and I know we were talking earlier, you love photography. <laughs> so tell everybody a little bit about what you do. Okay, well one of the loves that I have is being in front of the camera, which I'm very lucky that Carolyn and her team here put me out there, but I also love to be behind the camera. And for me, Carolyn, photography is really another way of painting the world. And I see the world in color, and it's so important for me to be able to capture someone at their best. So I enjoy doing behind the scenes or BTS for film shoots. I also do a lot of event coverage where I'm photographing artists on stage and different events. So that means different lighting. Often you have just a second or split seconds to capture something that's happening on stage. So those are very important things to know beforehand where you want to place yourself, where you want to sit, the type of shots you want to take, mm -hmm. whether the lighting is going to be good. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it doesn't work out and you have to, you know, uh, sort through those later. But capturing those moments are very, very important. Once you have that moment mm -hmm. and it passes by, Carolyn, you know, it's gone forever. <laughs> that's for sure. And I know from being a photographer, I mean, in, in my past, I used to work for the Toronto Sun. I used to photograph all the Sunshine Boys and then started photographing a lot of models and actors. So I always know it's so important. People think, well, I want to be a model. Um, I don't want to be an actor, but I think the two are combined today. Yes. I think which is so important. I think also the eyes are the windows to the soul. And so many times in a photographer, I think it's so important to get that out of somebody. Yes. with their eyes and, and get them to move in front of the camera to tell a story. I think that's so important. Absolutely. I think it's very important. If you are an actor, an actress, a singer, someone who's going to be putting something out for your brand, it is so important to have a professional photograph taken. The value for that is um, it's priceless. It really is the first picture that if you're putting out a brand, it's important. For example, one of the things I ended up having to do is for my event that just took place, one of my um, singers didn't have a professional photograph. Mm -hmm. And she sent a selfie picture, which is great, bless her heart, but it wasn't going to do. It wasn't the type of branding that I wanted, first off associated with the event that I was doing, but also in terms of putting her out as an artist. Right. And so one of the things is when you're doing your own 
photograph for 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 your band as an artist um, make sure you're thinking about how you want to be looking every time someone s tries to meet you because that becomes your look and your brand and so br building up your brand based on that look is very very important as well and so staging the picture finding a creative background again without a lot of busyness in the back simple is better always you do want to stand out and not the background stand out so so in other words cell phone shots my friends a photographer really doesn't cut it no it's okay to tell somebody a little bit about yourself or whatever but if you're in this industry I think um, you want to be professional and if you don't have a professional headshot you don't come across as professional no. No, I think right. that's so key in the business well, I just wanted to thank everybody. Annie, you've been wonderful. I just like to always leave people with a little bit of advice or something that you can help with maybe new people or even um, actors already in the business or models. Yes. Any advice that you can give to anybody today? Smile and enjoy yourself because if you're not enjoying yourself, you're not going to be putting your best face forward. And I think that if you smile and you really are truly happy from within it comes out in your eyes like you said Carolyn and it comes out in your pictures and your shots my goodness that's excellent advice Annie well thank you so much everybody for tuning in my guest Annie Koshi model actress oh and I one thing I forgot is about the movie the bloody mess oh I have a film coming up I think we're gonna have to speak about that at our next that's chat. right that's right so there's just so many things that could go on and on and on and talk to Annie for hours but it's been such a pleasure taking the time out of your busy day thank you and taking time from auditions to be here to help share some great advice and tips and a little bit about you thank you thank you so much Annie it's been a pleasure been a pleasure thank you and I'm Carolyn from Carolyn's Talent thanks for tuning in to Studio Chat